I just gotta get the cheese, hey, I need me the cheese, then I'm out. What is up traders? It is the one and only Alpha Miller and I'm back again with another video. So if it is your first time in the channel, we welcome you into the channel. Please make sure so that you hit the subscribe button. Do uh, smash the like button and also turn on the notification so that you get notified when I drop another video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for the continuous support. Obviously, don't forget to like the video as well and do share it with anyone that you know that might also benefit from this content. So just like I said, guys, I actually want to show you how this melts off or this meltdown actually came about. So as you can see, looking at the markets, obviously, you do see that the markets did create a flat channel for us previously, which we were actually uh, expecting the markets to do, obviously, respect this level here. So uh, same thing goes to the top. The markets gave us a structure that was actually looking like this. So from this point on, we can obviously do um conclude that the markets were moving in a flat channel so but from here markets broke out of structure obviously came back to res to retest the previously broken structure then from the then from there just shot all the way up or all the way to the upper part of the markets when the markets obviously did get here there was a reversal pattern then the market obviously um respect that that and just broke below and further push to the lower part of the market so i'm pretty sure that a lot of people were actually uh, expecting the markets to also respect structure here as that is what it was actually doing previously and looking at structure would definitely see that our support is strongly holding and obviously do pushes the markets to the upper part of the markets as it did previously uh, we had the first bounce second third fourth fifth sixth and obviously here we were just looking for the markets to also give us another bounce and further push to the upper part of the markets and obviously do continue with the rally that it had previously but unfortunately that didn't happen markets obviously uh, after forming this head and shoulder like structure it just fell off so if you're looking at the time frame obviously on our mother time frame the one hour time frame so from this point on i'm just gonna come here and obviously do a market replay so you guys can definitely see where we actually come with this market setup so usa trader right there markets gave us this level that we definitely needed to consider so if you can just expand this you can definitely see that this level comes far it's not a, an area that actually got printed right now as the markets were trying to give us a head and shoulder like structure but this will acted as a previous resistance and also acted as support right there if i can zoom in for you guys you can definitely see what is it that i'm actually talking about acted as support firstly market shot up gave us another rejection came back here and also held strongly markets pushed to the upper part of the markets so now markets obviously came back became support and obviously did respect this uh resistance right there shut down so markets here were resistant market broke here became support a bit market pushed up and obviously did respect this um supply that we did have right here markets respected that area then further pushed to the lower part of the markets so now you have to keep it in mind that this was our very first uh confirmation in the markets obviously our supply area right there so the markets obviously came here and gave us three rejections which were obviously confirmation enough that our supply is definitely valid so this is what we did have and now secondly the market also printed something that was looking like this for us right there market gave us a left shoulder like structure gave us something that was looking like a head then around this area right there we definitely were looking for the markets to obviously respect that area and further push to the lower part of the markets so but however our first target was definitely around here so you know how we do it coming here putting in our shorts and obviously using our take profit just right above this level here sometimes you know that the markets could definitely give us something like this like this why are the market makers doing that it's simply because they know that all of most of us our take profits are just right there so they wouldn't reward or wouldn't want to reward anyone that's also into that 
particular trade so but with that being said we also have to obviously look at the candlestick um behavior how are the markets uh going to be approaching this level if they the markets are obviously going to be approaching this level in an aggressive manner then we can obviously do wait for a market breakout and if the markets are going to reject here at least have two market rejections here and here's the first example here's the second example so that's why i actually do emphasize that you guys do have to consider the market's behavior how is the market behaving when it's approaching an area is it aggressively approaching or the markets are just uh, approaching in a form of rejections so right there before we can obviously take the entry we do need a minimum of two candlesticks closing below our area then from there we can definitely uh, execute this trade confidently so i'm just gonna do a bar replay so that you guys can see so obviously if you also do switch to a better follower time frame like your m15 this setup would be the same setup so that is why i actually decided that today we're just going to look at uh, the mother time frame and obviously i'm going to give you a breakdown from that uh, time frame so if you look at here markets obviously came here touched rejected first candlestick and second did obviously close below then from the third candlestick forming that is where you would confidently just execute yourself and move with the markets all the way to the lower part of the markets so now this is what i was actually talking about you guys do have or do need to pay attention to how the markets are behaving when they approach a certain level so if you look at this one right there the markets came here in the form of a full body markets never gave us a week or gave us a rejection as you can see that previously we had a couple of rejections first one second one third one fourth one and obviously we nearly had the fifth but we didn't the fifth one is here so now looking at the previous behavior compared to the current behavior you can definitely see that the markets are now moving in a very different way so you can see that the markets approach this level in a form of a body and closed like that now when the second candlestick formed obviously it came in a form of a body and never rejected so the markets uh, never rejected that area and obviously the markets did close below as well as the markets close below our area of support or our very strong holding area of support of which i can obviously consider it as a major level market close below and i definitely knew that this was also a right area for me to also take another sell and obviously move with the markets to the lower part of the market take profit wise obviously we looking towards the market reaching this level for us right here then from here we can definitely be out of the markets and we also do need to consider how the markets are going to be approaching this level if the markets come in here aggressively giving us the same behavior that it did previously we're still going to execute the sales and look for another possible market low that we can obviously get to capitalize on so this is what i have on usa 30 i hope you guys did enjoy the lessons and obviously if you want to trade with the broker that i trade with you can just click the link in my description and obviously do sign up and if you also want to join my free trading community you can just click the link in my description as well join the alpha male community that's where i normally drop educational setups and i also do drop my youtube updates there so you can obviously do stay updated when i drop and obviously do get those educational setups that i normally send in that group so this is what i had for you guys i hope you did enjoy the lesson so if you did do drop a comment and obviously don't forget to share this content with anyone that you know that might also benefit from this so this is what i had for you today and i'm gonna see you on the next video